Remote connectivity is an important part of improving your operational efficiency and reducing time to resolution of problems that may arise on the network. When the agent scans the network and discovers a new device, it will also scan the device for common TCP ports that are available for managing the device. These TCP ports will likely use common protocols such as HTTP or HTTPS for web browser connectivity or command line interfaces such as Telnet or Secure Shell, also known as SSH. The Domotes agent will look for these interfaces on common TCP ports, but it is possible for you to add your own customized port number based on the device's configuration. There are three ways in which you can connect to any device that is on the network that is being monitored by the Domotes agent. First, you can create a direct connection to a specific device port. Secondly, you can use Domotes VPN on demand, which creates a server slash client connection over the Domotes cloud. Or your third option is to establish a TCP tunnel, which can be used for third-party software or non-standard TCP IP based protocols. Let's first look at creating a direct connection to a device's web page. In this example, let's look at this Netgear switch. Under this device's Connect tab, you can see this switch has multiple TCP ports that have automatically been discovered along with the protocol type on this port. Knowing that this device's web interface is on port 80 allows us to click on the Connect button for port 80 in a more easy way. Doing this triggers the Domotes service to create a secure cloud connection between the Domotes cloud and the agent on that network. The connection established is secure and encrypted. The second action that is occurring is that a secure URL is being generated by the cloud for the Domotes application to allow a browser connection to be established. Note that the URL provided is unique and only available to your session at the time you establish the connection. Once the connection is completely established, we can browse the device's web page as if we were looking at this page locally. This gives us the ability to remotely configure, manage, and adjust device behavior from anywhere in the world. This is an excellent way to minimize on-site support and truck rolls, lowering your cost of operations. While connecting to a single device on the network is easy, Sometimes you may need to connect to multiple devices at the same time or you are troubleshooting network issues. In this case, you may want to establish a secure virtual private network connection, which you can do through Domotes' VPN on-demand feature. To create a VPN on-demand session, you need to have a VPN client on the system you are using to access the network. For our demonstration here, we will be using OpenVPN to create a secure connection to the network. Please visit Domotes help section and search for VPN on demand if you need more help setting up your VPN client. When you first activate a VPN on demand session, the Domotes service activates a VPN host within the agent and like before, creates a secure connection between the Domotes cloud and the agent. At the same time, the Domotes cloud is generating a secure configuration file that will be used to establish your secure connection with the agent's VPN host. For our example, we will select a global connection to route all data through the Domotes cloud. This configuration file will automatically download to your system. At this point, you can load the OpenVPN configuration file to your VPN client, and a secure connection can be established. With the secure connection in place, you can now browse any system or directly connect to devices on the network as needed. You may have noticed that this VPN on-demand session only lasts for one hour. This is true of all TCP-based connections that are made within Domotes. In most cases, a direct connection or VPN on-demand will work for remotely managing devices on the network. In some instances, though you may want a unique URL that allows for TCP slash IP communications through a non-standard protocol, such as a direct connection to a third-party application. Domotes can open a simple TCP tunnel, giving you this direct-to-device flexibility. For our example, we will use this Netgear switch again, but we will use a TCP tunnel to establish an HTTP connection to their primary interface, which is on port 49151. When you first open a TCP tunnel, you are asked for a specific port number. Here, we are going to enter 49151. When you click connect, and as before, a secure connection is established between the Domotes cloud and the Domotes agent. 
The Doe Motes agent will communicate with port 49151, but you'll notice that you are provided with a unique URL and port number for your PC or third-party application. In our example, we know that this is just an HTTP connection, so we will copy this URL to a new browser window where we can then complete the connection between my browser and the device on the remote network. You can see there are a few ways in which you can establish secure, remote connections to devices and systems on your networks. Please check out our help section if you have more questions.